Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the Northeast U.S. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrien Ag Solutions. We'll start with the satellite picture here on Tuesday morning. And again, we've got our big departing storm system across the Atlantic. A lot of cold air coming in on the back side of this. So chillier, a lot of clouds across the region, really feeling very winter-like here on this Tuesday morning. Nothing to talk about as far as precipitation goes, other than just some very light snow across northern portions of, uh, of Vermont here early on this uh, Tuesday morning otherwise looking like a quiet and dry start. Quiet and chilly, temperatures in the teens and the 20s across the northeast right now. You can find some lower 30s as you make your way down into southern portions of Pennsylvania over to New Jersey. As we look at the hazards map right now, quiet across the northeast from the National Weather Service. We've got frost advisories uh, across portions of southern Georgia down into northern Florida. Dense fog advisories from Minnesota into Iowa and Missouri. Uh, but otherwise, again, quiet across the northeast. So you look at the hazards map, or I'm sorry, the surface analysis over on the, uh, the, the right side. Again, you can see the cold front right now that's brought all the cold air into the region. And you can see we are going to be talking about the chance for at least some light accumulating snow across upstate New York, portions of Pennsylvania, and maybe all the way in northern portions of New Hampshire and Vermont as we head deeper into the weekend. Next seven days of precipitation, we do have a storm system that's going to be coming right up through the heart of the country through portions of the, uh, the southern plains, lifting through the Corn Belt into the Great Lakes. It looks to generally miss to the north as far as the, uh, the northeast goes with its heavier snow uh, and heavier precipitation in general. And so we'll talk about that here in a moment as that is really the big focal point across the eastern two-thirds of the country as we look at the next four to five days. Now, again, opportunities for some light accumulating snow here as flow comes up and over the top of the ridge in the west. The storm system's kind of riding over that, bringing some light accumulating snow to the northern plains and then also to portions of the northeast. So let me play that once again. This is now as we go through the day on Tuesday. This is Tuesday night. This is Wednesday morning. This is now Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So really looking like a, uh, let's bring it on back here, a Wednesday snow event across portions of New England. Uh, this is beginning early in the morning on Friday across upstate New York, spreading all the way toward the Boston area as we get into uh, mid-morning on Wednesday. So uh, during the morning commute, portions of northern Pennsylvania all the way up to New Hampshire, Vermont, and southern Maine look for the chance for a couple of inches of accumulating snow, maybe higher amounts, three to five inches, where we get some lake enhancement across upstate New York. So here's your total snowfall forecast between now and Friday morning. And again, you can see the heavier totals expected across upstate New York into northern portions of Vermont. That's where we're talking more than a couple of inches elsewhere, probably a light coating uh, if you see any accumulation from this at all. Now here's the upper level jet stream pattern. I already kind of diagnosed it uh, on the, the high resolution NAM precipitation forecast, but you see the flow up and over the top of the ridge out toward the west. We've got our trough here across the Pacific, that's what's, or the Atlantic, that's what's brought all the cold air down into the region. And it's these little systems like this that are gonna ride over the top of that ridge and bring those chances for precipitation into the region. So we'll take this forward. We'll head on into the, uh, the next couple of days here. You see the trough, the big upper level support right across the region. That's what kicks off that light accumulating snow across the region during the day on Wednesday. The ridge moves in, we'll probably warm up a little bit into midweek, quieting down as well. And now you see the next system, the very strong jet stream winds coming around the base of this trough right here. That's what's going to help fuel the central United States storm system. Again, you can see it kind of organizing right here. And then as these jet stream winds lift off to the northeast, so goes the storm system off to the northeast, likely missing us across New England with its more organized nature. So we'll see that here with the, uh, the uh, European operational model. Again, uh, the chance for some snow here as we get into Wednesday morning. You can see that moving in here. This is a Wednesday midday, Wednesday evening now, getting into Wednesday night, into Thursday morning, likely looking at a, a quieter picture on Thursday. A system lifts off to the north of the region on Friday, likely again going to be warming up as we head into the deeper part of the week as the storm system does approach. Now here we go, this is Saturday night getting into Sunday, maybe seeing some snow across the north. I'm talking about portions of Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine. South of that, we're likely looking pretty dry. It'll be warmer, you get a warm south wind coming in, maybe a bit more on the muggy side. But I think precipitation in the warm sector here across New England is gonna be more on the light gloom, light mist, maybe light shower uh, kind of threshold with maybe some more focused rain coming in on the, the kind of later side of the storm as we get into the day on Sunday and then potentially a little light burst of snow on the backside as cold air wraps in around. But it really looks like the heavier precipitation is gonna be kind of focused here across the Midwest and then lifting off to the Northeast of the region. So here from the European on the left, 
the American GFS on the right, we've got the next seven days of total liquid precipitation. You can see the GFS taking that heavier pre uh, precip north of uh, the northeast. GFS is a little bit more courteous here, bringing some of those half inch totals a little further south into portions of Pennsylvania and upstate New York. Uh, but really, as we look at the chance for some snow, I think we're going to be talking more about uh, that corridor from upstate New York into New Hampshire, Vermont and Maine. We can see the, uh, the snowfall forecast from the European again on the left, GFS on the right. Both agree on the heavier totals here, kind of uh, in a corridor from the Chicago area up toward Detroit and then on into Ontario. Much of what you see across uh, the Northeast here, this is associated with that potential for the Wednesday snow, uh, but then also possible as we get into Sunday, we could see some snow across portions of upstate New York, northern portions of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. Now we're looking at the probability of picking up an inch or more of snowfall over the next six days, so taking it through Sunday evening again, really focusing on uh, New York, Vermont, and the northern portions of New Hampshire into uh, uh, Maine. Uh, but then when we flip it over and we talk about significant snow, we're looking at the probability of more than six inches of snow with our weekend storm system and the, uh, the Wednesday snow across the region. Uh, and maybe where we get some lake enhancement across upstate New York, that's where we could talk about more than six inches of snow. Uh, but by and large, that's not looking like it's going to be happening across the Northeast. It looks more likely that we'll focus that across portions of the Corn Belt and the Great Lakes into eastern Canada. Now, temperature anomalies as we go through the next 10 days, I want to show this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of which, the first is to show that we will be trending warmer as we head into the end of the week, into uh, the weekend as that ridge begins to slide into the region. And then also to show you that even though we bring in several storm systems, we bring in a couple of shots of cooler air, uh, Eric and I were looking at this yesterday and a lot of our seasonal models here as we look deeper into you know the other side of these storm systems into late December, even into early January, a lot of the long range models really wanting to hold on to this warmer bias across the eastern two thirds of the country. So the Corn Belt, the South, the Northeast, uh, a lot of indications here that we're gonna be continuing to look at a mild winter, at least as we head into the holidays. Your highs for the next five days then, again, on the cooler side for the day today, it'll be a little bit cooler tomorrow as well, but we will start warming up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, another warmer day likely on Sunday as that storm system swings through the region. Have a great day today. We'll be back with our long range US focused weather analysis on Wednesday, the ag forecast on Thursday morning, and I'll be back with a regional forecast once again on Friday.